this video, I want to talk about what a Form 1 is. And if you specifically looked up this video, it might be that you or a loved one are interacting with the mental health system and need to know what it is right now. So in the next two minutes, I want to tell you the who, what, where, when, and why of Form 1s in Ontario. So the who. The Form 1 applies to a patient, usually somebody who is experiencing some kind of mental health challenge, and the, the Form 1 is filled out by a physician. What? So it is an actual form, and the idea of this form, in it's quite short. It is a form that gets filled out for the purpose of psychiatric assessment. So it's a physician who essentially says, I think this person needs to be assessed. Generally, that would mean by a psychiatrist for some enough period of time to figure out um, what needs to happen and is there a risk of harm to themselves or others, to kind of paraphrase the mental health act there. Where? So it can be filled out in the ER. That's pretty common. Often somebody who's in mental health distress will be brought to the emergency department by family, by police, or maybe themselves. Some people will seek out the care themselves. It can also be filled out in the community. That might be a family doctor or a doctor who works in a group home or a long-term care facility. A physician in the community can fill out a Form 1, which then gives authority for the police to actually transfer the patient to the hospital because the form one really it, it's authority to detain somebody for up to 72 hours but that has that detainment has to happen at a, a specific kind of psychiatric facility when so a form one can't be filled out just at any time ontario has laws that try to balance helping people in need but also respecting autonomy and freedom so the idea of the form one generally it's an intervention when someone is experiencing ser serious psychological distress and somebody around them is really concerned that there's going to be harm to themselves or others. So it tends to be in kind of like the, the real heat of the moment during a period of crisis. If there's smooth sailing and someone's taking their medication and there's nothing going on of, of any particular interest, that's not the person who's going to be placed on a form one. The timing really does have to be when someone is in some amount of crisis or things are really deteriorating because the language under the Mental Health Act, the criteria to actually fill out the form one are based on this idea of what has the person said or done recently that might either did harm somebody or threatened to harm somebody or themselves um, or other, other the showing lack of confidence to care for themselves and what do we think is likely to happen right now if they're allowed to stay in the community or do we think that some kind of harm is likely to happen so it's a very very um, kind of time sensitive kind of document and the why the real purpose of the form one is to step in and help someone who might not seek out the treatment for themselves and that is the reality of a variety of mental illnesses is people are not necessarily aware that they are ill or that they are getting worse. So it forces a psychiatric evaluation to occur and the form one is good for up to 72 hours. So somebody might be free to go three hours later, another doctor might come and check them out and say they're free to go. Um, doesn't mean that they don't need assistance, but it might be that they don't need to stay as an inpatient at a psychiatric facility. So that up to 72 hours, it doesn't mean it's the full 72. But it can be. So the idea is after 72 hours, if they stay that long, they will be either free to go, they might choose to stay as a voluntary patient, or they might be placed on another form, at which point their status is now that of an involuntary patient. And they will be given a bed in the psychiatric facility, and they're no longer on the Form 1. So that's kind of an overview of the Form 1. I hope you've learned something new, and I will see you in the next video.